Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to calculate H index in Excel where H is the number of publications with at least H citations each and it helps to assess the scientific influence of an author. It was originally mentioned in the paper published in 2005 by Hirsch with the title of an index to quantify an individual's scientific research output. If you are writing a research paper then do cite this base paper. I am mentioning it in my description box. You can copy it from there. Another paper for H index is important published in 2006 by Braun et al with the title of a Hirsch type index for journals. The original H index proposed by Hirsch was used to calculate scientific influence of an author whereas Braun et al proposed an H index to calculate scientific influence of other research actors such as journals, institutions and countries etc. The methodology is the same only the difference is the unit of analysis. I am also mentioning this paper in my description box. You can copy it from there. Now this is the data set we are going to work with. I had exported this database from Scopus in the last video and it contains documents related to the keywords of COVID-19 and financial management. I am sharing the link to this data set in the description box so that you can work along with me. This data set is in the format of CSV, comma separated values. Therefore, I will convert it in the format that we are going to work with. Go to file. Go to save as. I am saving it on my desktop and in the format of Excel workbook. Now open this Excel workbook file. Let's first convert the data set into a table. Click on any cell and press Ctrl plus L and make sure that the option is right checked my table as headers. Now to calculate H index you, the information that you need is this cited by. It contains the number of citations that are attributed to a particular paper and you will not need this information DOI link affiliations etc. Therefore you can delete this data. Also you will not require this information article number page start page and page count. Therefore I will delete this data also. Now we can calculate the H index year wise. Go to this column year and let's see how many years do we have. We have four years 2020, 21, 22, 23. Let's select the data of 2020 first. Select this data from the headers. Copy this data and paste it on a new sheet and I am going to rename this sheet to 2020 and do this for the other years also one by one. Now come to the year of 2020 and select the column cited by. Select these observations and then go to sort and filter. Go to custom sort. In this option sort by select this cited by and the order should be from largest to smallest. Press OK. Now the entire data set has been sorted from largest to smallest on the basis of number of citations. Then what you have to do, you have to give the rank to these publications on the basis of number of citations. Now the definition of H index is the number of publications having at least the same number of citations each. 
and then we can look into the data look at this point in this point 25 publications have at least 25 citations each therefore this is our h index and now let's try this for another year go to year 2021 select the observations in the column cited by then go to sort and filter go to custom sort in this option select the option cited by order should be from largest to smallest press ok now your entire data set has been sorted now you have to give the ranks now look into the data see look at this point 26 publications have at least 26 citations or more each okay and and look at this point 27 publications are there but the number of citation is 26 therefore this is our h index our h index is 26 26 are h index because 26 publications have at least 26 or more citations attributed to each paper now let's look for another year 2022 the same process is to be repeated select observations in the cited by go to sort and filter custom sort cited by largest to smallest press ok you give the ranks now look into the data this is our h index 14 publications have at least 14 or more citations each therefore this is our h index h index is 14 so uh, this is how you calculate h index and the same methodology is repeated for every research actor such as author countries and institutions i will show the h index uh, process methodology for these actors in the next video